up youtube it's your girl marie again back in another video as you can tell by the title i'm gonna be telling you guys a story time again on how i got caught sneaking a boy in the house so before we get started do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so we're gonna take this back in 2017 i think it was so it was 2017 i think i was a sophomore then and we had just um we had just got let out for spring break i was dealing with this dude um we was going on and off for a, a minute now and um i didn't tell my mom that i was back together with him like for a whole month we was like we was together and i did not tell her so basically um, I remember it was like on a Monday and we was texting each other or whatever, you know. And so he asked like, oh, I should come over Wednesday and we can go like watch a movie or something. Cause that was like normal. Like we do that often. Like he always come over and we watch a movie or whatever. So I was just like, oh yeah. He said, just ask your mom if it's okay for me to come over. I said, yeah, I got you. I got you. And he said, go ask right now. So, well, I pretended that I asked because my mom did not know we was back together. My mom will kill me. Not even kill me, but she would probably think I'm stupid for getting back together with him. Which I was, but I had to learn for myself. Wait, so, like, wait, like five two minutes to reply back to his text message and was like oh yeah she said yeah it's okay to come over or whatever and it's so it's so crazy because on wednesday that was like a perfect time for him to come over because my mom and my sister was supposed to go to cincinnati and be at this museum or whatever so i was just like oh that would be a perfect day for him to come over because it's gonna be me and him at the house or whatever because you know i was trying to i'm trying to get it in <laughs> So my mom asked me Tuesday night, do you want to come with us to the museum? And I said, no, you know, it's just, yeah, I just decided to stay at the house. You know, I don't feel too good. I was pretending to be sick, basically. Wednesday come, finally, or whatever. I'm over here getting, getting ready, you know, looking cute or whatever and stuff like that. Well, not really looking cute. Like, you know, just freshening up a little bit, you know, because I knew he was about to come over. My sister, I don't know why, but she, I feel like she knew. It's like she knew that I was up to something because right when she figured out that I wasn't going to go or whatever, she told my son, I'm, I'm going to stay home too. I'm just going to lay down downstairs on the living room couch. So I looked at her. I was like, this girl is, is acting right now because I'm just like, now all of a sudden you want to stay at the house. You 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 want to stay at the house now, huh? You want to stay at the house. So so my mom and my sister finally left, and my other sister was downstairs on the couch. So when I figured out that she was decided to sleep downstairs when she had a whole bed, I asked her nicely. I was like, "Well, can I have the living room? Cause I'm trying to invite somebody over." This is after the fact that uh or whatever and she was like no i want to sleep right here da, 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 da. and i feel like she was doing that stuff on purpose so then that's when me and her got to a big old argument i was talking to my other sister i have it's, it's a lot of sisters okay so i was talking to my other sister not the one that's decided to stay downstairs because she said she wasn't feeling too good but the one that was upstairs so the one that was upstairs she was leaving to go to work or do something or whatever so i was talking to her i was just like yeah i'm trying to invite uh such and such over and but she's downstairs because i mean him was going downstairs to uh watch a movie downstairs in the living room and she was just like well just uh y'all just go upstairs in the room or whatever y'all just go upstairs in the room and watch a movie but make sure you have the door open so nobody will sub <sighs> what is that word <laughs> no be suspicious of us trying to do something like you know and that's when i was like, okay cool he had finally pulled up and he called me and was like i'm here open the door so i ran downstairs and then i opened the door and i closed it behind him no i closed it behind me and he was like why can i come in so basically i told him like we can't watch the movie downstairs because my sister's downstairs so we're gonna have to go upstairs in my room. He was like, you sure is that okay? Because I've never been upstairs in your room. And I was like, 
yeah, it's okay. I can just open the door or whatever. So then that's when um, we went upstairs. We was chilling. We was watching Get Out because he haven't watched Get Out or whatever. But come and find out he already did. He just wanted to have a reason. You you know, that empty anyway. So we decided to watch Get Out. And we was in my room. You know, everything was cool. Everything was cool and, and, and you know, sunflower, daisies, all that type of stuff. Everything was, was chilling. So we're chilling. So after that, I, re I remember I decided to lay down. And then he laid like, okay, so my bed, I had a twin bed at the time. So my twin bed, it was like, I was laying right here. And then he was laying like that way or whatever, if that makes sense. Um, he had sat next to me or whatever. So then that's when I had turned over because I usually watch TV like this. So I was watching TV and then basically we did the nasty. So after we did the nasty, it's crazy because we had to, we stopped one time because like when we was doing it, we had to stop because we heard somebody come up the stairs, come to find out it was my, my nosy sister, my nosy sister. She was trying to figure out what we was doing. That's when she snuck back downstairs. After we got done, like, doing the nasty, I remember we finished watching the movie and then he had to go or whatever. And I was like, yeah, because my mom and my sister is on, on the way back home. So I was just like, yeah, you know. Da, 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 da. So we were standing outside so he can wait for the Coda bus to get there or whatever. So we was waiting outside on the porch and then that's when we were just talking, you know, hanging out, playing around and stuff. And then he had left. So I went back in the house. I'm thinking everything is cool. I said, yeah, I got what I wanted. You know, everything is good. I'm all clear. My mom comes, pulled up, opened the door. She opened the front door. She went straight to the bathroom. I could, you can tell, like, if you... This house, you can tell where the person is going by their footsteps or whatever. So I'm upstairs in my room, you know, on the phone, telling my friend, I said, yeah, me and him just did it, da, 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 all that type of stuff, right? So then my mom was like, Tasha, to get downstairs right now. Like she said, right the, now. Like she, she wasn't playing. So then that's when I went downstairs and she was like, so you had a boy over? Your sister told me that you had a boy over. And y'all, when I, when she told me that, I was like, I can't believe all the stuff she did. Like y'all, when I was younger and she was going through my teenage, like when she was a teenager, she used to sneak boys in the house all the time. And I never sneaked. But that one time when I, cause y'all, I, I never sneak nobody in. I never had nobody over. I'm always asking, asking, asking. I never, that one time I did that, the one time I get caught by my own sister, she ratted me out basically. So she was like, hand me your phone. And then basically I had my phone taken away, but I had my laptop. So I was texting, I was texting uh the dude I was with and then my friends also. And I was like, uh, so basically, and he was like, you didn't tell your mom that I was coming over. Only if you would have just told your mom that I was coming over, you would have never been in a, in a situation. And that was true. He was right about that. Because I should have said, I should have told her. But I knew the answer. It was going to be no. So, and then, so I got my phone taken away. Um, I came back to school. It's so crazy because I was about to tell my friends of what happened and why I got in trouble and stuff. But he already told my friends. I'm like, is these my friends or your friends? I'm confused. Like, let, let me know. Let, let me know, sir. Let, let me know. Anyway, so basically they found out I was telling them what happened and stuff and how I'm on punishment or whatever. So after school was let out, I went home and I was just telling, I was talking to my other sister uh, or whatever. And she was basically telling me like, oh, what happened between you and Karina? I basically told her what happened. And she was like, y'all had sex, then y'all? She said, I won't tell, I promise you I won't tell nobody. And I told, I said, yeah, we had sex or whatever, but you know, it was, it was going to happen anyway. So then that's when, uh, that same week I had got my phone back from my mom. She was just basically saying like, oh, if you do this, then you get your phone back. So I, got, I did that and my phone back. I swear to y'all on me the next day, the next day, I swear y'all. I don't have loyal sisters. I realize I really don't. Like, 
after it, I was just like, oh, all right. So let me tell y'all what happened. Say, at school, we had to take our test. So basically, for a whole hour, we was testing or whatever. So we was testing. And after testing, we got our phones back. And we was upstairs in the next class. And I, my phone was had a whole bunch of text messages. So I had looked. I looked through the text messages. Basically, the one sister I told that I had I had sex with him or that I slept with him, whatever, she was like, "Oh, I told on you because I feel like it wasn't right for what you did." Yeah, and I, I told Mama what you did, and I feel like it wasn't right. Um, yeah. So I was just like, "So basically, you're fake." basically i can't trust you like it's crazy because i really did trust her like i really trust her like that was the person i always go to when i need advice when i'm going through something and ever since that happened y'all i haven't i don't talk to about personal stuff because that was that was something personal and i really thought i can trust her like how are you gonna say you're not gonna tell nobody then you tell on me so basically um she basically told me that I'm, when I get home, I'm I'm in trouble. All day, y'all, I was scared as heck. I was so scared as heck. Like, I was so scared, y'all. It was at the point where my anxiety was messing with me. My hands were sweating. I couldn't even enjoy my day. Like, I was telling him, I'm just like, yeah, um, she found out that we did it or whatever. He said, I thought, I, he was like, I thought that she already knew about it. She was like, I was like, no, she knew that I snuck you in the house, but she didn't know we had sex in the house. So he was like, oh, okay. He said, it's going to be okay. Was it? It was not. So I'm over here just saying, forget it. I'm about to show out. I'm about to have fun at school. Enjoy my day. So I enjoy my day, basically. We on the bus. And I just seemed like this day went by so fast. I'm on the bus panting. I'm on the bus like, keep talking, talking to the dude I was with. Like, are you sure it's going to be okay? Like, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm really, 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 really scared out of my mind. I could you not. I literally took the long way. Because after I got off the bus, I took the long way to go home. Because I did not want to go home. It's like, it's so crazy. Because, you know, after a long day at school, you just want to go home and lay in that bed. But that day... I didn't want to go home. I, I really wanted to stay at school. I really wanted to stay outside. I did not want to go home. So, I'm at the house. I knocked on the door. Actually, I didn't even knock. Well, no, I knocked on the door. And basically, she opened the door. I was hoping someone else opened the door, but she opened the door. And she was on the phone with somebody. And she was like, oh, hold on, you got." She said, yeah, I call, I, call you, I call you later. I got to deal with something. And she looked at me like, I was like, so then when she, after she got off the phone, she was like, hand me your phone and your laptop. So I didn't have a laptop. I didn't have my phone. And she took my Apple TV. Y'all, do y'all not understand how devastated I was? And then she told me to get the belt. She said, yeah, and bring that belt downstairs too. I was like. I went upstairs, texted all my friends, including him, basically saying the same paragraph that I'm not going to be texting y'all. So if I don't text back, it's because I'm on punishment. So then I'm over here acting like I had to go to use the bathroom. Yes, I was acting like I had to use the bathroom. So <laughs> got the belt. And I handed it to her. She told me to sit down. She had, we had this long, long, like when I say long, I would say like a 30 minute talk. A 30 minute talk about what I did and how was it wrong and you should not be doing that. And da, 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 da. I'm just like, okay, I'm ready to get this over with because I know I'm about to get my ass whooped. So just go ahead and whip me and so I can just go upstairs, right? After I got my ass beat, like y'all, when I tell you I'm ass whooped, I'm ass whooped. 
like she beat my ass I was about to go upstairs, right? She said, no, clean that kitchen up and you stand out here until 8 o'clock to go to bed. I tell y'all, I was on punishment for a whole month. No phone, no TV, no laptop. And every time I come home from school, instead of going upstairs, I had to stay downstairs. I had to cut the grass clean the kitchen, all that, all that. I was so mad at her. I was so mad at my sister so much. Like I wasn't even mad at my other sister, but I was mad at her because I'm just sitting here like, I trusted you, like I trusted you. You know what I'm saying? So when I tell y'all it was hell, it was hell for me. It was super hell for me. And I know not to do that ever again. I came to school depressed. Like, I didn't even want to my friends. Yeah, I got a whooping. I got a whooping. I didn't tell them. I just said I got on punishment and stuff. That's it. But, yeah, I got my ass beat, basically. Um, yeah. So, if you're thinking, if you're around 16, 17, 15, 14, 12, any of that, y'all sneaking boys in, learn from me. Don't do it. Especially when you got a crazy mom. Because when you have a crazy mom and you got a strict parent, oh no. I thought all, I thought I was about to lose my life, y'all. When I was, actually, matter of fact, when I was getting that whooping, when I was getting that whooping, y'all, I thought I lost my life. Like, I thought, like, It was horrible. But it's so crazy because after that whole situation, uh, I got my phone back and all or whatever. The one that snitched on me, she tried to talk to me and like she kind of come in my room. I slammed the door right in her face. I said no. Mm -mm. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and comment down below if y'all ever been in this situation like me because y'all when i tell y'all it was bad it was bad but yeah thanks for watching and peace